I hope you find yourself just excited to exercise with me because I'm excited to exercise with you. And exhale out. Let's just get a little work in to get the blood going into your muscles, get your mindset focused on you, and getting your workout at home for the day. Hi, I'm Frida and we're going to do a chair workout. A lot of the work is going to be standing and some of it sitting. So this chair is going to help you to find balance and build confidence in the movements we're going to do. First of all, we're going to start with breathing in. Give a little inhale up and exhale out. Inhale up and exhale out. Awesome. Do one more. Bend your knees a little bit. Take it up high and exhale out. Great. Now when you're holding your chair, I want you to have a light grip, not really hard and tough. I call it piano grip. So you want to be able to play the piano with your fingers. So you're putting more work into your body and this is just to give you some support. Okay, let's start with a squat. And when you squat, you can act as if you're going to um, lean back behind a chair and not so much in front of the chair, stay behind a chair. So to help with squat alignment, it's good to use a chair so your chest level stays distance from the back of the seat. Good job. Take it in and out, breathing in and out. And there's nothing wrong with keeping both hands on the chair so you feel a lot of support. Count down four more and three and two and one. Awesome. Take it. Inhale up. Okay, we're going to move into a squat and move to the left and to the right. Now, as you do this, you're going to find that some weight is moving into your side of your body. So we want to feel the work in your thighs and hips and not so much in your knees. And again, keep the heels above your ankles. Okay, as much as you can and feeling the warm up in your legs and all your lower body. There you go, side to side. Notice I'm keeping my chest lifted. Breathing in and out and I'm keeping my muscles contracted as well. So you can breathe, inhale and exhale and muscles stay strong in the abdominals. Good. Four more and three and two and one. Awesome. Next, it's going to be where you're going to be able to turn sideways and you're going to put your hand on the farther part of the chair and you're going to lunge side and lift. And again, you're looking for some stability and support of the chair. And again, I want to see the piano fingers. Alrighty, good job. And just a, a few more lunges, keeping that shoulder above the hip. Three more and two. And one, good job. Take it up, take a little twist to the other side. Notice how my knee stays above my ankle and my grip can be further to the side of the top of the chair. Breathing in and out, in and out. Breathing in and out. Stay strong with me, keep your shoulders above hip. Go as low as you can. You can go halfway, three quarters or all the way. One more and take it up. Good. And I'm slowly ra raising my arms because we want to find a little balance. When you're coming out of lunges like that, you got to find your center of gravity. Good job. All right, moving on. Legs are together. And then as we're doing our side leg lifts, you're going to keep your body alignment. And again, soft grip. You're going to take your right leg and left. And notice as I'm doing this movement, I'm keeping my alignment of my spine. My body stays straight. So your hips are tilting laterally or sideways, okay? This is a good movement for everybody because we're always walking forward. We're always doing things forward motion. We don't do enough lateral side motions. And uh, this gives a variety for our hip joints to feel relieved as well as for body parts that we don't exercise as much, they get toned, okay? So if you're already feeling it, you can feel the work along the side of your rib cage, side of your outer thigh, okay? Side of your upper bottom, okay? Good job breathing out and in. Inhale, exhale, good. Always breathe, always breathe. Feed the muscles oxygen. 
Wonderful. All righty, take it down. Let's inhale up and exhale out. Last thing I want to ask is you're going to do calf raises. And all I'm doing is lifting my heels and my body's lifting up. My body's lifting up. Good. Just lift your heels up. Good. Tip toes are pressing down. Heels are lifting. Breathing in. And not enough again, calf warm ups. These are wonderful when you're getting ready to run. Just getting ready to do a lot of things. We, you know, we don't lift our heels up yet. The pain's in our lower legs. So let's do some lifting. Good. And down, get a wider base. Okay, and lift those heels. Good. Breathing in and out. We're going to do a lot of this work with your heel lifts. So we're warming it up. I'm proud of you that you could join us today. And uh, have, make sure your chair is nice and sturdy. Make sure you have water on the side. Ready to go when you need to drink for hydration. Okay, one more, good, that feels good. Let's inhale up and exhale out. All right, now we're gonna go back into the squat. Knees are more than shoulder width apart and you're gonna squat here and take a lift and down. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker, up and down. You got it, you got it, breathing out and in. So a lot of lower body work today and lower leg work, some balance. You can do it. Okay, awesome. Now as you hold it down, you're gonna lift your left heel and sit, sit down and up. You're gonna act as if you're gonna sit down and up. Stay in the lower level of the squat. And again, you have your chair for support and that's the whole reason. So we feel more accomplishable to do a movement like this because we have some control with the balance and support. Count down four more, and three, and two, and one. Take it up, lift your right heel, and squat. There's a lot of good work going on here. You can feel your hip joints, your inner outer thigh, your lower calf. And this is wonderful, this is great. It's a different way to train working on your joint stability, joint mobility, breathing in and out, four more, and feel free to go deeper. Okay, and last one, and take it up, awesome. Walk the feet in, walk the feet in, good. That should feel better. It's like massaging the bottom of your feet. Inhale, and exhale. Alrighty, widen your stance again, and one hand in the middle, and one hand on the side. We're gonna do a side a lunge. Stay here with me. As you do a side lunge to your left, you're gonna squeeze your glutes, and you're gonna lean back again, like I said. There's a little bit of arc into your body, leaning forward, but make sure you're using the leg muscles here on your left side. Two. And one, and I want you to hold it here. Good, awesome. And as you hold it, you're gonna rotate the knee outward. Maybe a small little circle or a big little circle. And this is gonna work on your joints again. Kind of different feeling with your inner outer thigh. Your glutes are contracting to stabilize as well as twist the body out. Give me four more. You can take a little deeper if you want, three more. There you go, two more. Last one. Oh my gosh. Whew, take it to the right, that was work. You're gonna take it down and lunge. And again, squeeze the muscles in your legs, keep the chest lifted. You can go a little lower if you feel like it. But again, soft grip to the chair. Oh, yes, four more, because we got that rotation to do. Three and two. And you're wondering how this leg's supposed to feel. Little slight flexion on the extended leg. Little slight flexion. Try not to lock too much and rotate outward. You have a better rotation when you keep the legs in a slight flexion. Okay, go ahead and circle. Draw a circle with that knee. Good job. Again, a different feeling. A different feeling here. We're using the muscles in your inner outer thigh. Circle. Circle outward. Count down four more. 
Squeeze your glutes, three more. And two, and one, I'm so proud of you. Push it up, whoo, that's work. Walk it in, walk it in. Inhale up, and exhale out. Be strong about this because this is a workout. It's gonna make us feel good about ourselves today. Okay, now we're moving on to what we call the side lunge. And you've done this before through warm up. So again, finding that far away grip on the top of your chair, knee above ankle. And as we do this, we're gonna lift the arms high and you're gonna lunge, good. Awesome, keep it here. Give me four more, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay at the lower end of the lunge and pulse downward. Now this one, to hold it down right here. Hold this, squeeze your leg muscles, breathing in and breathing out. And then push down, push down, push down. Bring your arms forward, just have something to focus on. Bring your arms forward, there you go. You can just twist your hands if you'd like because the mind needs to be somewhere else while the body's burning the muscle. Three more, two more, and I laugh because that's called a disassociation of the pain, okay? Because we're breathing hard and the muscles are working. Two more, one more, and take it out. Can I challenge you a little more? Lift that front heel and take it down, singles and up. Singles and up, singles. Let's get it done. You got four more to go. Stay committed, stay committed. Three, and two, last one, one. Push up, push up, push up. Great, rotate forward, walk the feet in. This always feels good. Kind of just squish the bug is what we call this. All righty, inhale up, and exhale out. You're ready? Let's get the next one in. Again, far away reach, soft to the grip, knees above the ankle, and lunge. Down and up, keeping your posture, shoulder above hip again. It feels great. We're looking for, people are always looking for something like, I do lunges, but I would like to uh, work harder at it or um, work under joints, imbalance. Well, we got it all here. Hold it down. And now press down, press down. Lift those arms. Good, lift those arms. Breathing in and out. Awesome, you can do it, you can do it. Awesome, bring your arms in front and you can twist at the wrist. Just breathing in and out. You're strong, I know you can do it. Let's get four more, soft to the grip. Piano hands, three and two and one. Whew, stay with me, take it up, one heel lift. Hold it here, breathing in and out. Let's do it again. L singles, take it up and down. Take it up and down. Up, four more, let's get it done, four. Really squeeze those leg muscles on the low. Three and two. I'm feeling it, you're feeling it. We'll do it together. Take it up and switch to the side. Good, again, smush the bug, bring it in. Awesome. You're so good about committing yourself to this workout. <sighs> I hope you feel better because I already feel better. My hips and joints, my joints and my hips are not tight. I feel really good. I hope you feel good. Alrighty, moving on. We're gonna do what we call the side, um, the side lunge. And that one has to do with here, but we're gonna extend the arm, okay? And when you extend the arm, we're just adding a little forward flexion, a little core work here. Okay, and as we're doing this, this inside leg is gonna bring it into the chair and out. So you just hit the chair and out. And again, this is a little stabilization on the outside leg and tightening abs. And my hand is softly gripping the center of the chair. So we're doing a little ab work, stabilization. Stay with me, hold tight. Bring it in and out, and two, and one. Can we get quicker? Eight of them. Eight, seven, soft to the tap. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Take it up. You're so good about it. And again, we got the other side to do. 
leaving to the side, extending the arm. Abdominals contracted. Here we go. Tighten in, out. Tighten it in, squeezing your abs. You can do it. My hands are soft to the ground. Squeezing the abs, tucking it in. Tighten your core. Come on, you got it. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Try not to put too much pressure on that center of the chair. Let's get eight fast ones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. One. All righty. Okay, this is called a chair tilt. You can squat just a little, hands on the side, and just tilt forward and back. Forward and back. And as you do this, you can sit low on a squat. Sit low on a squat. So your mind is on balancing with the chair, sitting low and having a slight tilt to your core, extending your arms, kind of embracing the idea of reaching forward and just extending the body more into a deeper stretch. Can we hold it out? Hold it out. Hold it out. Sit low. Hold it out. You got this. You got this. Bring it in. Okay, that was a squat version. There's a stiff leg version. And what that is, is your foot's going to be placed like this. Split leg, okay? And then your body weight's going to go into the front thigh. And as you stay in this front thigh, you're going to literally move forward and back, okay? So, one foot in front, one foot back. Hold on to your chair. Try not to bend the knees too much. A slight bend in the knee is good. And tilt and up. Tilt and up. As you're tilting, you're working on hamstring buttocks. And feeling a little security knowing you you're, have the chair to literally hold on to. Count down. Let's get four more. Slow is always better. We want to work on mechanics. Two more. Tilt away. Last one. And bring it in. That was different, huh? Switching the leg. And again, we're doing a split leg foot position. Put your body weight in the front of your uh, thigh muscles of the leg in front. Soft knees. Lean forward and tilt the chair. And lift. Try not to bend the knees. Keep the legs stiff and straight. Breathing out and in. Breathing out and in. Inhale, exhale, feeling that hamstring work on that front leg. Give me four more. We got this four and three. You got this two. I know it. I know it. You're like wanting to stop. Stop right now. Good. Whew. Inhale up. You doing okay? I'm doing okay. All righty. Now we're going to move on to sitting on our chair, which is something I couldn't wait for either. So as we sit on this chair, we're going to do some stretches that are similar to yoga movement. And so you feel like um, maybe you don't want to do standing work. This is a good way to do some stretches that are more about stretches that promote strength, stability. Okay. So you want to do a seated warrior one. How we do that is you want your knee below your hip. And as you're doing this, make sure your hip is aligned with your seat, meaning not tilted back. You want to bring it forward. And as you do this, you want to lift your arms straight up overhead. Okay. And make sure your arm is in alignment with your hip and knee. Okay. And let's just hold it here, breathing in and breathing out. Good job. Awesome. All righty. Good. And all we're going to do is reach forward and reach up. Now, as you do this, we're working a lot of the hip joints again and the supporting leg muscles. So you're giving yourself a focus, abdominal contraction to reach. Open up the hip on the side out. Yes. Give me one more. You can do it. And lift and hold. As you stay in this position, we're going to do a warrior two. And warrior two is just straighten the arms to the side, keeping the knee below your hip. Palms up if you'd like. 
Let's do a little palm rotation. Good. So we work on the shoulder joints again and holding the position. Breathing in and notice how my body is twisted sideways. So we got a little twisting of the, the uh, abdominals. Great. Four more. I'm feeling some good stretches in my lower knee and my hip area. Two and one. Awesome. Good. We're taking arm, arm rotation out. Rotating forward and back. Try to complete your rotation at the end back here, okay? Up and back, up and back, up and back. Last one and hold. Be strong, be strong about this. I know you can do it. Good, awesome. You're cool, take it in. And last one is the warrior three. You're gonna reach forward Okay, extend those legs, extend those arms, and lean forward as you can. Come on, just look down, hold the position. Breathing in and out, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. You can do it. And as you're doing this, you're going to bend the back knee and extend. Back knee and extend. Focusing on stabilizing your abdominals in one place. Legs are contracted and holding a balance, but reaching on the other side, working the legs and arms. One more, one more, and reach out. Hold the position, bring it up for warrior one. Look up to the sky, had a little open abdominals. Breathing in and out, and just being thankful you are able to be that warrior through the seated warrior workout. Okay, and guess what? We got the other side to go. And I know you can do this. You know how we're elevating and intensifying, but we'll come to rest really soon. So open up our hips, here we go. You're gonna go ahead and turn. Again, knee below the hip, okay? And again, make sure your hips are in a neutral alignment, not tilted up and not backwards. We want a neutral alignment, a nice, comfortable, relaxed position. However, we're gonna reach now. And as we reach, lengthening our arms, just make those arms strong and long, breathing in and breathing out. <sighs> Got it? Awesome, you can do it. You can lean forward and lean back. Lean forward and lean back. This is good work, give me two more. Last one and back. And if you had to keep your hand down, that's fine, okay? So now we're moving into warrior two. And again, it makes us have to bring the knee in, but that just means that we need to keep the knees low open up this hip and try to allow the stretching in our lower abdominals, open hip area, and the pulling of the inner thigh. I know you feel that, but that's the whole purpose of this position. Breathing in, breathing out. You can rotate your hands if you'd like as we're holding this position. Breathing in, breathing out. I am working hard to get my arm alignment back here because maybe my shoulder's a little tight. So you might find yourself struggling to hold this position. Alrighty, let's circle up and reach back. Circle up, reach back, circle up and circle. Feel strong about this. We're accomplishing the goal of strength, flexibility, I call it determination. Last one, let's get this, hold it out. Yes, and then we bring it in and move on to what we call warrior three. Reaching forward, straighten your back leg and hip. Abdominals are tight, raise forward, look down. Look down, breathing in, breathing out. Stay strong, stay strong with me. Two and one, you can pull the knee in and out. Actually bend the knee and push out. Bend the knee. Now this is making you have to squeeze every muscle in your body to hold a position and then allow for the flexion and extension 
on one side. Breathing in and out. Four more. Reach out. Three, because I feel the work too, and you feel the work. Last one. Let's hold it out. We got that warrior in us. Come back up. Bend the knees and lift it up. Warrior one. Yes, our mindset was we are going to make time for ourselves through this class of yoga, seated chair, breathing in, breathing out. You can do it. You're awesome. Bring it in and come forward. Have a seat here, face me. I'm so proud of you. We did it on both sides. Let's inhale up and exhale out. You probably felt some parts of your body stretch you never felt stretch well that's the reason i want to give you that opportunity to strengthen our mind by allowing our bodies to move in a position awkward but it's it i call it it's almost like a liberating feeling to just be more flexible and be ready to try something different and that's what i'm giving to you so now we're going to move into a cool down and we're going to stand back up and you're probably stand back up a lot better and not so much pain because your joints are really loose you feel a little freedom okay so that's what i love about this kind of exercise okay standing we're going to raise our arms again and one arm is going to stay on the side with a front inside leg split foot position hands in the middle and lift up and move to the side and as you're leaning to that side keep your body alignment meaning shoulders above hip as much as you can breathing out and in okay now reach further towards the chair oh, allow your hip to rotate outward now and breathing in Extend those arms further, further, further. Breathing in and out. This should feel wonderful. And lift up, look to the sky or ceiling. Feeling strong, feeling tall. And stand up straight. And we're going to rotate outward with that arm. And as we're rotating outward, we're feeling again. I like that liberation of the body where we're feeling mobility, no tightness. <sighs> okay, four more. And three, keep circling. Two, relax your wrist. One more. Ah, <sighs> bring it down. Good job, let's get to the other side. One leg inside in, split foot position, and grip on the middle of your chair, and lean inward. And again, your elbows are slightly bent for at first, and then your strength, keeping your hip aligned and reaching inward further. So we're doing more of a higher body stretch, okay, before we surrender into the full hip outward lean, which is, here it comes, there we go. Breathing out and in. Inhale, exhale. Ooh, this one's always a rough one, at least for me. This is decided. Needs the deliberation, the freedom. So reach as far as you can and bring it in. Good. Now, outward rotation. Allow the upper body to circle while we're keeping the lower hip stable. How do you know your hip does not move away from the chair? Just the upper body. Breathing out and in. Three more. Two. And one. Ah, and bring it down. Alrighty, you're doing good. Alrighty, next move here is um, you're going to lift the inside leg on top of the chair. And as you do this, you're going to kind of swivel your foot back so you can do a lunge on the chair. This is a great, great stretch if you're feeling tight in your knees, hamstrings, and you don't really, really want to do a floor lunge. This is a lunge that will definitely open up your hip joint, your inner outer thigh. And I need you to stress forward just a bit, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. Awesome. And then hands on your hip just to let go 
of putting weight on your thighs. Now pull back, pull back, and you wanna tilt your toes up, flex at the ankle, and again, start off with leaning forward, and you already feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Bring your hip alignment, so bring your hip in. Now it's pulling on that outside of your thigh, which we're looking for, and just hold it there. It doesn't take too much to stretch out the hamstrings. Good job. If you feel like this isn't enough, you can reach for the chair. And as you reach for the chair, it takes a deeper pull in the hamstring. Good job. And then you want to point the toes if you're looking for just a tad more stretch. Again, these stretching zones are really something else. And again, if you're Miss Limber or Mr. Limber, bring it down even further and reach for the floor. Come on, you got this. Four more, three more, two and one. Pull it on up. That should feel wonderful. Bring it in slowly and walk to the other side. And we still got the uh, seat, the chair lunge. And again, bring it leaning forward, bring your knee bend and align your body first. Good, as you're doing this again, the comfortability of uh, knowing that you can get a deeper stretch because your foot is elevated, alrighty. Good job, hang in there, lean, push that knee over just a tad. You can feel the legs and tendons open up. And again, no more stiffness. This is gonna make you walk better, run better. Just a little less pain or no pain, okay? We're just too uptight, so let's loosen up here. Take it back, press your toes up, heels against, and again, forward flexion. Check your hip alignment, make sure your pelvis is in a horizontal alignment, okay? That way you're getting that deeper stretch in your outer hamstring. Because we do a lot of rotation like this, so find that neutral balance. Good job. You can reach for the chair. Good, point the toe if you like, or flex the toe. When you flex the toe, it pulls even more in the lower calf. Awesome. And again, the next lower level is pointing the toe more. Good, I love it, it's great, such a challenge. And take it low and reach for the floor. Awesome, you might find one side a lot easier to stretch in the other. Again, four more, three more, two more, and pull it up. If you haven't reached some of those stretching zones, you know, keep doing the workout so you can reach that goal. Last and not least is going to be sitting on our chair, being comfortable about where we are in our life and right now where we are in our life is where we need to be because at this time and moment you made time for yourself to do something different open your mindset to some stretching zones some stretching movements that gave you i like the sense of freedom no more tight joints and stiffness. It affects the way we're thinking about ourselves and I want you to feel good about yourself, okay? So I want you to bring your elbows out here and look forward, bring a little lower if you like and reach up to the side. And again, this is an awkward stretch. You're not used to it, but you can hold at the shin, at, at the shin, the knee. Those are different levels, okay? But the uh, elbow on the knee is fine. Okay, but I just want this outer rotation reach, pressing your elbow against the inside knee. Good, and bring it in, rise. Okay, let's take it to the other side, come down and reach for the ankle and lift up outward. And again, the lower back stretch is always a wonderful feeling. Open up, open up, breathing in and out. And you got your levels on your elbow holding your shin or at your shoe. Some of you might have your hands on the floor. Either way, we've got the stretch here. Count down four more. Twist a little more, look around your kitchen. Two and one, and breathe and release. Yes, legs in, and inhale up, and exhale out. Hopefully, we are feeling relieved, no stress, breathing freely comfortable. So thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day.